Okay, so no Diamond League this week. That doesn't mean we don't have plenty of action to show you. Athletics North starts now. And we are going to begin in the Big Apple and the New York Grand Prix. And Noah Lyles was out there just doing Noah Lyles things. He won the men's 200 meters for the second consecutive year at this event, this time clocking a 19.83, which, by the way, was the 34th time he's run the 200 in under 20 seconds. Now, why is that important? Well, because it ties Usain Bolt for the all-time lead in that department. Olympic and world 400 meter hurdles champion, Sydney McLaughlin Lebroni, won her first 400 meter flat race of the season with a personal best time of 49.51. So yeah, it looks like she's enjoying the switch. As far as Canadians go in New York, Caroline Earhart placed third in the triple jump with a leap of 13.80 and Madeline Kelly finished in 10th in the 800 meter. Okay, let's shift over to the Canadian 10,000 meter championship in Burnaby, BC. Natasha Wodak was your first place winner on the women's side, crossing the line in 32 minutes, 42.77 seconds. And the men's title went to Jeremy Kugler in 28 minutes, 46.96 seconds. To the Royal City Inferno Track and Field Festival in Guelph, Ontario, where it was all about rewriting their record book. Shot putter Sarah Mitten pretty much repeated her performance from this event last year. She won and broke the meet record in the process with a toss of 19.09. And by the way, a few days later, she also took the title at the Johnny Loring Classic in Windsor. So talk about a big weekend for Mitten on the heels of winning that Diamond League title in Oslo. Jazz Shukla also broke a meet record in the 800, but it wasn't her own. It was previously held by world silver medalist, Melissa Bishop. And in the men's 100, Ishikari Osharise, born in Nigeria, but now runs for the University of Regina, took the event with a meet record time of 10.05. We just have a crazy story from the Paratriathlon Cup. Camille Frenette was in the lead after the swimming portion in the women's PS5, but a mechanical issue with her bike put her out of mental contention and she was sitting in seventh place. So what did she do? She did the last four kilometers of the bike portion on her bare feet while carrying her broken bike. She suffered blisters and slight burns on both feet, but said after the race that her dad always told her, quote, unless you break both legs, you have no reason not to finish a triathlon. And I feel really, really lazy this morning. Thanks for watching. See you next week.